Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for August 30th. Uh, this is for the new moon, so I've already done one new moon, re new moon reading, um, but that was a few days ago when I was called to do it, but this is a daily vibe, so we're just going to see what comes up. Um, this one, I believe, is probably the timing may be a little bit fluid, more fluid on this one. Um, so yeah, the, this reading is not uh, sign specific. This is just an energy that I'm picking up on for around uh, the 30th. So happy new moon. I wanted to say thank you to everybody that has booked readings. Um, my schedule is pretty packed for the next few days. One of the reasons I'm doing this right now is because I'm I'm booked for today, and I've been booked for yesterday and booked the day before, and it's it's a lot, but I love it. I love it. So um, if you're looking for a Skype or a FaceTime reading, the link is in the description below. Um, They've been great so far. If you are one of the people that we that have had one, I really, really enjoyed meeting you all. So I look forward to talking to you again. So let's get started for the 30th. But this is going to be an overall energy. This one right here, an overall energy for the 30th. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for the 30th? What do we have for the 30th? That's not it. That's four cards. We're not taking them. Oh, well, that was a wise decision. Man holding heart. Man holding heart. So you have a man that is thinking about giving his heart away. He hasn't yet. He's still holding on to it. He's got a big heart. Um, he may be interested. He may see somebody that, you know, he's interested. He's thinking about. This man is loving, he is generous, he is kind. Um, he's probably um, wanting somebody to, to love him, right? He's ready. He's getting ready. He may not be ready yet, but he's getting ready, okay? Um, whoever this man is. He may, his heart may have been ripped out in the past, okay? Uh, his heart may have been ripped out, and now he's afraid to give it away, you know? But he's got somebody in his sights by the looks of things, and I think he's ready to heal. He's he's ready to be loved, but he's, he's a little um, iffy about it, okay? He may be ready to close something. Nines are closure. That equals nines. You know, maybe he's he's he doesn't he's sick of being lonely. He's just ready for love. He's ready, but he's you know, hmm. he hasn't he hasn't made any moves yet. Put it that way, because he's still holding on to it. Oh well, this is the Empress. So that's who he's looking at. He's looking at. Um, and this card says actress, but this is the em empress. Okay, it's a three. This is the empress. So in this deck, so yeah, she probably is an actress. She probably looks real good. She's she's shining. She's glowing. She's a star. She's a creator. He's looking at her. She's abundant. She's beautiful. Um, I feel like this woman. I mean, she has uh, she has some meat on her bones. Okay, she does have some meat on her bones. I'm not saying that, you know. This won't resonate for everybody, but anyway, I feel like this woman, um, she's very generous as well. He may see her as a perfect match, Be and I didn't say it, but I'm going to now. This is on the bottom of this deck that I was shuffling. So he may see her as the perfect match. You know, that's that's my, uh, the, that's the one, that's the one, that's the missing piece. She's the piece. She's, she's the one I want. So I feel like this person is is waiting to make an offer to her. She has multiple options. She knows her value. She knows her worth. Uh, she delivers on her promises. She's beautiful. She, you know, she has her her shit together. She she's uh, she's everything. She's everything, and he sees it. So we have a. This is man. It doesn't say woman. This is man. Okay, this is this is somebody that is thinking about, you know, has feelings for this person. 
this person, um, this person has it going on, okay? Um, this is a Taurus or a Libra, doesn't have to be, could be anybody. This is, this is, I would consider this the King of Cups. Okay, I would consider, consider, and the King of Cups can be anybody. This is a person that is about to follow their heart. Okay, and it's funny because yesterday's reading was about following their heart. About following your heart. This person is about to make a move because he sees the attractiveness. This person is very attractive. They mag they they are very magnetic. They, this person vibrates on a high level because this person knows their value. This person has a lot of life experience. This person has already been through the ringer. They have gained a lot of knowledge through suffering. So this person sees the potential in this person. This person takes care of people. Okay, this person is very nurturing. This person is very motherly. This person, when she put gets her hands on something, it's gonna grow. Absolutely. <laughs> so. Courier of fire. This guy isn't taking action yet, right? He's not taking action. He's afraid. He may, he may be even intimidated by her because she's so, she's so beautiful. She's so abundant. She has so many options. He knows that. He does. This person, you know, he feels. He feels things. So he knows. Ace of Swords, so communication. So, this is the sword of communication. It's the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. Um, somebody may be receiving a message from somebody. Okay, they're going to be. This guy's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Now, the Empress, she doesn't do any initiation. She doesn't. She waits because she's learned that lesson. She's wise. So she will wait to hear. She's not going to take action. Absolutely. And that's funny how I put these cards. I've been putting one up here, not two. She is not going. This is the um, Knight of Wands or the Page of Wands reversed. This is the page. It's a courier. So this is the Page of Wands reversed. This one, she's not going to. She knows her value. She knows her worth. She's waiting. She's waiting for the word. She's waiting for the message. She's waiting for the communication. Okay, she's not going to take action because if she did, you know, she wouldn't be the empress. And that's the truth. You guys don't have to like me, but that is the truth. The truth. She knows the truth. She's wise. She's very wise. Um, and this is the lover's card reversed. It says evolution, but this is the lover's card. Six. This, this is a lover's card reversed. This is um, indecisive. He is indecisive. He is. He is indecisive about communicating with her he is because this is not taking action you know he's he may be thinking negative he may maybe he thinks he's not enough so i think we have a, a man here that is thinking about taking action he probably sees that this is a perfect match but he is hmm. oh the high priestess reversed interesting okay and the lover's card reversed. He's thinking that maybe he's thinking that she won't accept him. Maybe he's thinking, you know, he's not thinking clearly. He's not thinking clearly. He may have some doubts. He may be doubting his own, um, his own worth. Okay. I feel as though This person is thinking negatively about themselves. He wants to make an offer, but he's not thinking in a positive manner at all. He's not thinking positive. He wants to, but he, he's not feeling like he has the strength to do so, the courage to do so. Um, seven of fire. This is the seven of wands reversed. He may be, he may be af afraid that she has too much competition. Okay. This is a card of competition. The seven of wands. It really is. I feel like, um, he may be unaware. I mean, he's thinking, he is thinking that he, there's a lot of competition that he has a lot of competition, but he may be wrong. Okay. His thoughts may be deceiving him. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, Hmm. 
seven of fire reversed. He's afraid. This guy is afraid. He's afraid that he will be rejected by the looks of things. Um, five of cups reversed. So this is, this tells me that, you know, this is, be, this is realizing that there's an opportunity for love here. This person sees that there's an opportunity for love. He's been, he's had his heart ripped out. He's already been through suffering with the five of cups. He wants to communicate, but he's thinking he's pessimistic. Okay. That page of wands. He's pessimistic, pessimistic. This part, there may be an age difference between these two people. Okay. There's probably is some sort of age difference, age barrier, age gap. And he may feel like, you know, that's one of the reasons why he can't. Maybe he feels he would be rejected because of that. Um, I think that. This person is also very fearful that maybe he can't hide anything from this person that he's dealing with because we have the high priestess reversed. He may feel like, you know, I, I, I have to be honest. I have to be truthful. I won't be able to hide anything from this person. Oh, the emperor reversed. And this is a, this is giving up control and it's hard to give up control. This person is very, very, um, dominant and he likes his to be dominant and I feel like you know this is his match it, it really is this is his match and he feels like this is his match but in order to you know move forward you know he that it will take two it, it won't be a one-sided situation and I think this person is having a hard time you know mastering their emotions knowing that they will have to go with the flow knowing that they will have to um they, they won't be in complete control. I do feel like this person has already been married. I feel like this person um, has gotten out of a false contract probably recently or they're about to. Somebody could be making a decision to uh, get out of a false contract. Somebody that they're not well suited for because they have a, they see a bigger, better opportunity for love. Somebody may be receiving communication or a message that, you know, it's it's time for me to uh, focus on what else is in front of me because I, there's like an end of a contract here. Somebody's somebody it may be making an instant a decision to leave. It's like you know what I see something better. I see something more. Um, abundant you know I see this bigger brighter opportunity so to where I will be taken care of this person can take care of me I feel like so, this this person um, has been through a, a some sort of repression and I feel like they've been battling their own demons about letting go completely and starting over trying to clinging to control there could be some uh, belt of um, chaos or disorder or anger that makes this person decide you know I know that I have a better opportunity it's time for me to break this contract so there's a contract that is coming to the end to the to an end with this lover's card reverse that is a contract I think I think we there there could be some sort of um well the the emperor reverse can get angry can get angry can can um, be aggressive there could be some, you know, instance that causes a bout of ag aggression that d makes somebody realize that, you know, this, this contract isn't meant to be. It's time for me to focus on something else. And they just speak it. You know, it's like, you know what? No, this, is, this isn't it. I know I have a better opportunity. And I think what's happened here is that this is, there's, this is already, this person already has seen another opportunity but i think that you know they have been clinging to control and maybe clinging to a commitment they may have gotten themselves committed to something you know and they've been trying to hold up their end of the bargain but it's not fulfilling their heart and you know yesterday's message was about fulfilling your heart so i feel like this is in progression this person is now like you know what my heart wants to be taken care of my heart wants to be loved my heart is wanting more it's wanting more and i feel like they've been dealing with a person that you know hasn't been fulfilling them and now they're ready to be loved so star wish fulfillment heaven this is a, a going after your dreams, following your dreams. So I feel like today is a day where somebody is, you know, somebody is deciding to 
step outside of their comfort zone and go to the place that they need to go. You know, I, 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 I have to go. This has held me back. This has caused a loss of myself. I think we have somebody here that has, because they have been um, clinging con to control for so much, you know, and, and trying to please society because the, Empress wa the emperor wants to please society. Okay, the emperor wants, is all about what everybody else has to say. So I feel like this person is gone through a loss of self trying to please everybody else, trying to live up to the demands of society and what everybody else wants them to do. I feel like we, ha we have this, this person that is deciding there may be a little indecisive still with this, but this is the end of a contract. I see something better and I really, really want it. I feel like this, this person has a, some sort of attraction to something else. It's like, this is this, that's the one. I don't want to lose that one. Okay. The seven of fire. It's like, I don't want to lose the one that I see to the competition because the competition is fierce for this one. So anyway, I feel as though we have somebody here that may decide to, to impulsive. It's not really impulsively because this person has been thinking about it, but the Emperor in Reverse can absolutely act out of anger or act out of impulse, okay? You know, whatever it is, this person, I think, is making a, even like a hasty decision. Not hasty, because I see that he's thinking about it and trying to think of the right word to, to follow their dreams, to follow a new path. It's like... It's time for a renewal, okay? And I feel like this is divinely guided. I think it's time. I feel like there's a purpose that this that this person has, has seen this other person. There's a purpose. Um, this person has been focused on a loss for quite some time. This person has been focused on a loss. And I feel like now they see that there's another opportunity. That is the Five of Cups reverse. It's like, I see this opportunity. And, you know, they may decide, you know, it's time to communicate. I have to express myself to this person. You know, even though I'm afraid, I think this person does have fears. They may decide that, you know, it's time to express myself because I want an opportunity. I do want this opportunity. It's like they decide to take an approach, it, you know. It's like it's, it's, it's time to take that step. So I feel like this person that has been withholding their heart and they haven't been feeling loved, they may have been dealing with somebody that was, you know, keeping them conflicted. Um, they may have been walking at, on eggshells in the past or they been, they had some sort of barrier up, but they see this this wish. It's like, this is what I've always wanted. And this the star is wish fulfillment. And they just decide to go for it, you know, to let go of the control and go for it. This is, this is a, this is bright. It's like, this is bright. They may be dealing with a star as well because she's an actress and this is a star. It's like, they see this star. They see this big, bright opportunity. It's like, I can't miss this. And if I don't go for it now, somebody else is going to snap it up. So I feel like if this is, if this is for you, be prepared to receive some sort of communication from somebody um, who really sees your worth, sees your value. Um, yeah, could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing, this is a Taurus or a Libra, could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, we have Aries again, we have Aquarius, could be dealing with an Aquarius here who sees, you know, a big bright opportunity. Um, we have everybody here. We do. Um, we have Gemini. We have everybody. So it doesn't really matter. We all have these aspects in our chart. Um, Somebody is going to receive communication. Whoever is going to be receiving the communication, they know their value. They know their worth. They do not chase. Okay? This person doesn't chase. The message is coming from a masculine. Good luck.